Hey yo, welcome to the wonderful world of Hunger Heat. I'm not a classically trained chef. What I am is a self-taught home cook. I've studied under several television chefs. I have a PhD from YouTube University and a black belt in Google Food. I love to cook. One thing I love more than cooking is my wife, the sensational Shelly Eats Steak. Together we host what we call the Friday Night Feast. This happens every Friday night, 6.30 simple. We'll cook up an entree, maybe a couple little snacks, show y'all how to do it. Then we spend the rest of the evening just chewing the fat with all of our friends in the Hungry Horde. Hope you can tune in sometime. We'd love to have you over for dinner. Today's video is a very exciting uh, dish that somebody dreamed up or adapted. <laughs> yeah. I she figured out my... a way to make it uh, to fit our lifestyle. Yeah, I put my spoon on yeah. it. So it's the classic infamous French dish, uh -huh. Ratatouille. Not the movie, though. <laughs> there was no mice used in the making of this dish. It smells so good. But I just, you know, it's the end of summer, right? Or I'm making it the end of summer. Right. And ratatouille is a great dish for using up all of those veg that you have around. The zucchinis, the squashes, the eggplants. Everything, tomatoes, all of that end of the stuff. Here's something else you can make. It is delicious and it will, it'll go great with so many different things. We've had this a couple times now. Mm -hmm. And every day, every time she makes it, it's a little bit better. <laughs> okay. No, because she's always just tweaking it just a little bit every time. Well, yeah, you know, it's yeah. part of the R&D. Right. But, uh... We've served it with tri-tip, and yes. that was amazing. Yes. With salmon is amazing. And tonight, we're serving it with just a bacon wrap sausage. Yeah. So let's go ahead and show you how to make this really, really, it is an easy dish, y'all. Might sound hard to say, but it's an easy dish to make. Ratatouille. 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 get started, I already have my five garlic cloves, uh, the skids removed, so I'll be using the garlic press for that, but the other thing I want to add to my tomato sauce is a whole onion, so I'm going to use this great contraption, it's by Mueller, and we got this from one of our horde members, Terry, so thank you so much, Terry, I'm ready, oh my gosh, that was so easy. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna need that whole of an onion for the salad. Look, this is perfect. Oh my gosh, that took so short of a time, y'all. This is perfect. So I'm gonna put this in a container because next I'm going to start on our other vegetables. And basically ratatouille is an end of summer French dish. So it's all the wonderful veggies you get at the end of summer, and this is a great way to use it. You probably have seen it a lot of times where it is like a everything is sliced and it's like this real pretty uh, round dazzle dish. But I'm gonna do this because this is way easier, y'all, to do this in pieces basically bite size because it's going to cook much more evenly and it's just going to have all of those flavors really combined together. So the other vegetables you're going to dice, I have two yellow squash here, a zucchini, and I'm going to use a whole bell pepper. So I'm doing half of a red, oh, won't fit all the way, and half of an orange bell pepper. Of course, eggplant because that's like, to me, it's almost the star of the dish. And we first did this using some farm fresh eggplants from Terry. Uh, this I did have to get at the store. And then this is where my recipe differs a little bit as well. We're going to add in a couple jalapenos because we really like to spice things up. So I'm going to start 
slicing these, getting them in here, and getting this ready for roasting. And go ahead and right now, when you're about to cut these, let's get the oven preheated to 425. Or if you're fortunate like we are, you could use the uh, Ninja 12 and 1 air fryer. And then that way you can do all of this in the air fryer, y'all. It's going to be so much easier that way to do that. And it will turn out just as fabulous. So we're going to start cutting all of this up using our cute contraption here and get this ready. Now this ended up taking two trays and what I'm cooking together is the yellow squash, zucchini, jalapenos, and bell peppers because they all cook around the same time and then I'll do the eggplant separately because it does not cook as long. So these two pans are going to go in our Ninja Air Fryer oven at 425. And we will do it for about 15 minutes. And we're going to roast these. So I added avocado oil or you could do regular olive oil up to that temperature. And then I'm adding, of course, our Redmond's Real Salt. Everything deserves Redmond's. And then I'm doing some fresh cracked pepper. Over this, ooh yeah, that's gonna be good. Add that in, and then I'm also going to do a little bit of rosemary. Smells so good already, y'all. So you just a little bit of rosemary just to give some flavor there. To me, rosemary's a perfect French herb. Okay. And then we'll put these in again for 15 minutes and then we'll get started on the eggplant. Just dicing the eggplant up. Y'all, this chopper has saved me so much time. Here's the brand. I'll put a link down below. That is amazing. And again, it has saved me tons and tons of time chopping all of these vegetables. So here's the last part is the eggplant. So again, I'm going to do some avocado oil. And you can use olive oil, but not the extra virgin because you do want it to be have a smoke point of at least 425. So, of course, my Redmond's, a little bit of rosemary, and some fresh cracked pepper. And then I'm just going to toss these up. And then once the other peppers are done, well, they won't be done, but after the 15 minutes, so those should be in the oven or your air fryer going for 15 minutes. And then we're going to toss those as well. And then we'll, at that point, once the 15 minutes is done, then we'll be able to add this wonderful eggplant. And I'm so excited for this dish, y'all. I know we have a lot of gardeners in the hoard. Here's a great way to use up those veggies. Again, you could customize it to whatever veggies you happen to have. So in a stock pot, or I think this is a four quart pot, or a, a Dutch oven would work great as well. But on a stove top, we're gonna make our actual sauce for the dish. Now, if you have fresh garden tomatoes, that's the best way of doing it. Guess what, y'all? I don't have any fresh garden tomatoes, but this is my other cheat. I pull in a Sandra Lee, y'all. Semi homemade. I'm doing the tomato sauce in a can. So you can do that. And then I'm just going to add about a tablespoon of avocado oil. And I have this on a medium heat. And then I'm going to use my garlic press. 
and you want to be ready to go pretty quickly here because once we get started you don't want this garlic to cook more than like 30 seconds or a minute at the most. Oops, sorry. So we're going to fill our garlic press here. That awesome, y'all. Thank you again, Terry. This I mean this basically this meal is brought to you by the Hungry Horde because we got this, the chopper, and the ninja air fryer, all thanks to our Hungry Horde members. So again, thank you all so much for all of that. And I hope y'all get to try this recipe and y'all love it as much as we do. Oh my gosh, we have just been loving this. It's a great side dish. Reheats perfect, y'all. Like, oh my gosh, it really is a perfect uh, meal prep item that you could use all week long for your meals and that's what we did okay i'm still getting used to how to use the garlic press y'all if you have any tips please let me know all right i got all of that garlic out, y'all. Just cook this again, like 30 seconds. And then what you'll do is add in that whole onion. My like garlic and onion, every dish that starts with garlic and onion is an amazing dish, right? And we'll just cook this down until the onions become translucent, and then we'll be adding in our tomato sauce. All right, y'all, I've been stirring this, and it is ready now for the tomato sauce. I'm gonna add that in, stirring well. Now, depending on, you know, how much veggies you have, you might need to, need to add a little water. Well, I'll take a look a little bit. So I'll save the can just in case. And then I'm going to add in here, I have some, a little bit, I'd say half a teaspoon of fresh thyme and fresh rosemary. I'm adding that. Of course, we gotta have our Redmond's and some fresh cracked pepper. Now, depending on how spicy you want this, y'all, you could add a little red pepper flakes and we'll do that kind of towards the end or you don't have to if it's too spicy for you just leave that out it's okay you will still have amazing flavors so since that is cooked i'm going to turn this down to a low and then we're going to check on our veggies okay it has been 15 minutes i love it this Ninja 12 and 1 double oven air fryer because it makes things like this so easy. So, what you're going to do is take this out and then we're just going to toss these around and then we're going to put this back in now with the eggplant and we're going to go 10 more minutes at 425. Y'all, it's been another 15 minutes. Let's take a look here. So I was able to combine all of those into one tray. And what you're looking for, a little caramelization. Smelling so good, y'all. So that's all those. And let's take a look at the eggplant. The eggplant doesn't take as long. Mm, I think we need, I'm going to do another five minutes at 425, just till I see a little more caramelization. Ooh, yeah, this looks a lot better. You can smell how good it is, little burnt edges around there. Let's take a look at the eggplant. Mmm, oh. mm, mm. mm. I'm excited, y'all. Smells so good. To our tomato sauce, 
I'm gonna add the eggplant. I feel like it is to the doneness I want. You want that nice little roasted caramelization going on. And then I'm gonna add this all. And then after I add it to the tomato sauce, I'm gonna give it a really good stir. And make sure everything gets well incorporated. And then I'll go check on the other veggies. And see, that's why I do the diced. Because it just goes so much faster. And you can control cooking the different veggies since they cook at different temperatures. You can control that better this way. And it makes it already ready for serving. Is it the prettiest? No. But you know what? Ugly food is still good food. Oh. And then just stir that in there. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so amazing. All right, let's get our other veggies. Three, two, one. All right, look at my veggies. Oh my gosh, those look so good. I'm going to add all of this in just like I did the eggplant. And then give it a good stir as well. And then this one I'm going to go in and add those red pepper flakes. Now again, that is optional. So if you are spice adverse, you don't have to. Or you could add... For this big old pot, you could do like a quarter of a teaspoon, and that'll just give a little layer of flavor, the flavor there that makes this unbelievable. I'm telling y'all, you're going to love this, especially all of my uh, Hungry Horde gardeners. Here is a great way. I know you've been busy with your canning and everything else. And get in that oil in there as well. And then give this a good stir. Oh my gosh. Looks so good. This is perfect. Oh my gosh. It smells amazing. And this is great because if you don't... Uh, are cooking like say a roast or whatever you want to serve this with it's okay for this to sit on the stove at a low temperature so I'm going to add in my crushed red pepper and then stir this up and I would let it at this point, since we just added all of the veggies and that seasoning, I'd let it sit on low and simmer for a good 15 to 20 minutes just to let all of the flavors come together. And then you're ready to serve. Now we have to finally eat it. Yes. Give that big old spoonful. Wow. Uh -huh. And here's something you didn't know, or maybe you did. Let me know. This actually came from the southeastern region of France, which is near Italy and the Mediterranean. So that's why you're like, wow, a tomato sauce? Like, isn't that Italian? But it's basically the fusion of being so close to Italy and the Mediterranean. That's why this is delicious. Now, one way you can serve it, which I highly recommend, is after you plate it, do a drizzle of some extra virgin olive oil on top chef's kiss. Nice. I have to go for a second one. Oh. This is so good, y'all. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, the flavors. It's just so warm. Yeah. And inviting. And to me, this is a great dish for that time between summer and fall. It's, mm -hmm. you know, you get the freshness of the summer veggies, but to me, it is so warming and comforting. It's like a fall dish that you would think of. 
really good, y'all. I like the layers of flavors. This is a little spicy, so this time what I did a little different is I added actual jalapenos to oh, it. nice. So you get a little more kick to it. Again, well, that's it, optional. <laughs> mm. It pairs so nicely. Mm -hmm. And what I think goes really well is some of the veggies got that little like char on the mm -hmm. edges so you get a little bit of crispiness in the bite. Mm -hmm. But just so many depths of flavor as you've got the spiciness plus if you added in the red pepper flakes, got that and then the freshness of the rosemary and the thyme. It's just so good. I've definitely got time for this. Mm-hmm. This is so good. Mm. Where have you been hiding this for me? I know, right? So, I love this dish. I hope you love it. Let me know. Have you ever had, like, authentic ratatouille? Now, since I'm part French, does that make this authentic thing? I'd say so. <laughs> I would say so. But let us know if you've ever had it. Have you ever made it? Are you going and to make most it? important, yes, are you going to make it? Because I really hope you do. And I hope you see doing it this way. You don't have to do all the fanciness with all of that, taking all that time. It is such a quick and easy way to make a classic French dish on a weekday. Right. Well, thank you all so much, and I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want to see more recipes, don't forget. Every Friday night, 6.30 Central, we go live for the Friday Night Feast. We'll cook up an entree, maybe a couple little snacks, show you how we do it. Then we spend the rest of the evening just chewing the fat with all our friends in the Hungry Horde. Hope you can tune in sometime. We'd love to have you for dinner. And a bonus note on that, too. I'm only bringing this up because we just had one Saturday, this last Saturday here. If you want to see more, you want to hang out with us for our Saturday Night Supper Club, become a full member for us. You'll get a special invite and early access to a, a video that we do a cook along. Yeah, and a, a special uh, recipe card yes. that is printable for your records. Like I said, the only reason why I came up, I'm thinking about it right now, because we just did it last night. We're recording this Sunday night afterwards. Mm. So, we have a blast hanging out with all y'all. Mm -hmm. So, welcome to the Horde. Come on and join us. Let's go. And in. speaking of, so stay tuned to see all of our wonderful channel members. Thank y'all so yes, much for you, all your you, support. You. We, we love y'all. Bye. Bye.